Good morning, everyone. And today we are here in Cherokee, North Carolina. And we've been hearing for a long time folks saying, you have to go to Peter's Pancakes. Well, today is the day. They are open and they are <laughs> packed. You ready, Dawn? We're ready. Well, let's do this. Let's do it. Their slogan is a breakfast to crow about. I definitely say a lot of folks are crowing about this place. It's a beautiful morning here in the Great Smoky Mountains, and I'm excited for this. We got up early this morning uh, for two reasons. One, well, to hit Peter's pancakes finally, and number two, well, the leaves are changing here in, in the North Carolina side. <sighs> There's a lot of folks out there waiting and we had a hard time finding parking. In fact, we dropped you off and then I circled around like a vulture waiting for someone to leave. And uh, they're here. And what do you smell right now, Dawn? Food, hash browns, I can smell the bacon. hash browns. I can smell the bacon. I think sausage. Yes. It is a beautiful, cold morning. I should have a jacket on, but I don't. They took down the pink motel sign, redone it and brought it back. It's looking better than ever. How long of a wait was it? Um, half an hour. So it's a half an hour wait at this place. It is a it's madhouse. It's right from the building. I try to go around and film a little bit and it's just, there's no room to walk. Uh, we ran into some friends of the channel here and they said, Will, it is worth the wait. Even an hour, it's worth the wait. They said their steak and eggs is phenomenal. Maybe I'll try that. I do want to try one of their pancakes though, because I keep hearing about these pancakes. So we'll do that also. Mmm, it smells so good in here. You can smell that syrup and pancakes and hash browns. I can smell hash browns, a little bit of sausage. Wow. What do you think, Don? I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. <laughs> It'd be worth the wait. So we've tried to come here a few times. They're closed on Wednesdays. So keep that in mind. They're not open on Wednesdays. And for some reason, we kept coming here on Wednesday. So, and just like my grandfather always said, nobody waits in line for bad food. Of course, this is one of those places. On the flip side, it's got a map of the area here, huh? So I don't know what I'm gonna get. They have different numbers for different types of breakfast. Uh, I keep hearing about this steak and eggs for $16.99. I think I'm gonna get that. Um, Cause I've heard so much about it. And then what are you gonna get? You're gonna get the ranch the hand? hand. Yeah, so we heard, we heard so much about the ranch hand too. So we're gonna get these two which should give us a pretty good ideal of everything on the menu. So of course we're always share with each other, you know. And they do have French toast here, ooh, for uh, $10.99. They have a strawberry waffle, sounds good, for $10.99. The pecan, 
pancakes. So I, I bet you these are regular pancakes. I'm wondering if they would upcharge you. For um, some pecans with chocolate chip. Their prices here are not too bad considering the prices over in Gatlinburg. They seem maybe about average, if not below that average. Next time we come, we'll have to try that French toast. It sounds really, really good. Breakfast smells good in here. <laughs> it does. They've been torturing us for the last half hour. So it took us about a half hour to sit down, just like they quoted us. And um, yeah, we're, we're sitting here in the corner, the very corner of the room. Beautiful views of across the street and uh, Cherokee brings back memories as a kid. I love coming here. Our breakfast is here. This is my eight ounce ribeye and it looks really, really good. It looks juicy. And then over here I have uh, eggs, uh, over easy hash browns and a little bit of toast. Dawn got a great big piece. I think it's called center cut ham. It's got the bone in it. You have um, some hash browns over here and eggs. Uh, over easy and here are their pancakes and this is what everybody crows about you got the chocolate chip pecan pancakes yeah, there's some, some butter so yeah chocolate chip and pecan in there and look at their big old chunk of butter And that's our breakfast in its entirety. There's quite a bit there. Of course, the sun is starting to come through the window here. What do you think about this spread? I'm mean, waiting for us to dig in. <laughs> okay. Still okay. I'm gonna try that ham. It's a big piece of ham. You know that? <laughs> I know. It's, well, you've eaten some of it too. But... It has some good flavor to it. Is it, is, is it like salty it's or is very it salty. okay so that's country ham then right i think i try some of those potatoes over there how are the potatoes they're good i have butter a little bit of butter on that good Wow. Pancakes are flaky. They got a good flavor to them. They kind of laid eerie. Yeah. Let me put chocolate chips and pecans in there. Get into this uh, ribeye here. Looks really good. Is it a ribeye or steak? It's a ribeye. The end here is really, really good. Mm. Yeah, let me, let me get a little bit of this other end here. Um, really good so far. Uh, it's not super thick, but it's thick enough, especially for a breakfast steak. Mm, yeah. I can see the reason why everybody likes on uh, that steak. So I'm gonna get a little bit of this of these potatoes here, and they smell really, really good. And I'm gonna break that egg there. I wanna get my egg in that, in those potatoes. Yeah, I like the potatoes. There's plenty there. I'm gonna try some of this here. It is a country ham. It's not like too salty, but it is country ham. If you like country ham, that's a really good ham, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna get into this pancake. So it's got, got chocolate chip, uh, pecans in it. Mm. Wow, 
Yeah, the pancakes are really good. Mm -hmm. I like how they put everything into the batter so it cooks up, you know, all together. I like it. I ordered it medium, and yeah, it looks like it's medium. Oh, those potatoes. You got some toast, you know, you can have some of that toast with your eggs over there. So what's your favorite so far? The pancakes. You like that pancake, huh? <laughs> I love to dip my toast in egg. Oh boy. Very good. And they put quite a bit of chocolate chips in there. Nothing better than steak and ham. A little bit of the syrup. So we had two soft drinks at around $5. Dawn had the ranch hand breakfast, which was $12.99. And then we upcharged to have the pecan and a chocolate chip pancakes, and that was only 89 cents. That is actually really good. Only 89 cents more to upgrade those pancakes on her breakfast. I had a steak and eggs, medium well, over easy, potatoes, and white. And our total came up to 38.98. That's like good. the best breakfast I've had in almost six months to a year or longer. Yes, yeah, so you were really, really liking it, and I was too. Uh, wow. I was amazed. That is wow. The pancakes were good. They were good. <laughs> They're light, fluffy, a little bit of crisp to them on the outside. They were good, and we upcharged to pancake pecans and chocolate chips. Yeah, and the, the, I wanted, well, originally, I don't think she, but I wanted like one pancake with pecans and then another pancake with the chocolate, but they put them <laughs> both together in both, so no big deal. Yeah. It worked out really good, good, actually. Yes. And they, they weren't skimpy with the chocolate or no. pecans. They really put that in there the breakfast mm. was a lot it was it was a lot uh the eggs are were real good um the, the hash browns or the the home fries i guess you'd call them or uh they were about average but they did have a little seasoning to them and they i were thought good. they were good they were good but they were average like mm -hmm. you know what i mean i don't know if you can do much with with hash browns i liked your country ham i guess i thought it wasn't too salty but it was you know it was good it was going through the the steak was really good and the, the steak had no seasoning whatsoever it was just you know ribeye grilled up which is great for folks who don't like that but i, I wish it had a little bit of seasoning on there you know what i mean i think it would have set it off but other than that it was really good in fact that seasoning didn't really make a difference mm -hmm. but um i liked it i liked it don would you do peter's again I'd be looking for an excuse to come over here in the morning. Yes. <laughs> now, just for the breakfast. It was good. It was worth it. But before this review, you were like, nah, I don't really want to go there. I'm like, I don't and know. And we've been through here before when they were open. Dawn's like, I really don't want to go there. But now you've been there. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going back. And we're talking about, like, what is the best breakfast <laughs> in the Smokies, right? And we do, we will say that this is the best breakfast we've had in. Cherokee, bar none. Um, I don't know if we had many places that had breakfast. Though, I don't think we've had a good breakfast in over a year or and two. And as for the Tennessee side, wow. Um, mm -hmm. It's up there. It's <laughs> up there. So Dawn would do it again. Mm -hmm. I would definitely do it again. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend. I thought the price was right. Um, I thought it was good all the way around. Um, it is definitely a top contender for breakfast in the smoky mountains of course there's a lot of other places we got to try out yet and uh we heard some other areas too where there's good places but folks that's going to do it for today here in cherokee north carolina if you guys like this vlog give, give us a thumbs, a thumbs up. up make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming smoky mountain adventures we've got plenty of smoky mountain adventures coming up in fact we got some really cool things happening here in the next few months and until next time thanks for watching bye everyone, bye, everyone.